All right, ladies, as Christians, we have everything. We have everything we could ever want in Christ. So in the book of Ephesians, um, this author is taking a lot of stuff by um, Warren Wearsby. And let me just explain this a little bit. So the Christian life is totally different than other people's lives. It's just a truly amazing life. And just like I talked about in my video of how much I crave God's word, we cannot be too heavenly minded. Some people have said you're so heavenly minded that you're no earthly good, but that is not true. Okay. We, we have a sinful nature. Okay. We just do. And we see the world and there's so much earth, earth stuff in it, so much, um, worldliness in it that it is hard to fight the battle not that we can't enjoy earthly things but to fight that battle to keep our eyes on God so it's work it's like a muscle just like when you work out okay so we are already as Christians um seated at the right hand spiritually with Jesus Christ right now all right so we live in the two realms of the invisible and the visible the Christian life um we have the human and the divine life. <clears throat> so, you know, it has talked about in the Bible, Luke sixteen eighteen, the children of the world. These are those who are just, you know, born and they're unsaved and they live like their earth is their home. The earth is not, it's temporary, it's going away just like everything else is. But we who are seated with Christ have everything. And it's just like, um, you know, he says here that no matter where the president sits, he's still the president. Likewise with Christians, no matter where we are, we are still Christians. We are totally rich, uh, before God, but we, you know, God doesn't say he's going to spare us from material poverty here on earth. Not like the, you know, the gospel, what is it? What am I thinking of? The gospel where they say that you can be rich, not the um, brain cramp. I can't think of it right now, uh, but you know what I mean. So um, the real gospel is that we are going to have suffering to make us more like Christ. So where is it here that I was looking at? Oh, so for wisdom, ladies, the biggest amount of wisdom you can ever ask for is to align yourself every day with God. So where, how did he put this? Here it is. Okay. He is seated with Christ in the heavenly sphere. That's us Christians. And um, it is in this sphere that provides the power and direction for our earthly walk. So each day when we're thinking of things we have to do or we want to do, we should be getting directions from Christ. Christ is the head of the church. We should be in prayer. We should be soaking in prayer, the word of God and saying, how, where, what should I be doing God? And, um, so recently I've had a lot going on and I'm just like, okay, I just need to sit. I just need to sit. And the Holy Spirit brought to mind Mary, who was very busy, but I mean, Martha, who was very busy, but Mary chose the better thing and she sat at the Christ at the, she sat at the feet of Christ. And that's what we need to do so often. And our, you know, it's great to be a hard worker like I am, but our nature just wants to be independent sometimes and not depend on Christ. Same with our food. Like lately I'm like, Oh, I might be diabetic. Then I'm going to have to depend on certain foods where I haven't had to do that before. So, I was thinking in the same way, we should be depending on Christ 